Okay, so this is day two after Baxter's ear removal surgery, the penectomy, and um, he's wearing a head wrap, and um, it was the left ear that was removed. So we're getting ready to put, <laughs> he likes to do that. We're getting ready to put, hi boy, some um, gauze on the ear and put the head wrap. It slips around a lot, and we want to make sure it doesn't uncover the area of his ear so he can scratch it with his uh, back paw. So I'm gonna, we're gonna show you here. It's okay. It's okay. Um, that's the area. It's healing nicely. It's probably very itchy to him, um, but that's what it looks like. And uh, so I'm gonna put a gauze and I got some tape that I'm going to try that um, doesn't stick to skin or hair to maybe keep the gauze in place. We have to really be careful that he doesn't throw that leg up and start scratching. So I'm standing close here so I can protect it. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to lay this. This is non-adherent gauze that the vet gave me, and then I have another pad over it. So it gives it a little bit more thickness, so maybe it'll stay better. So I'm going to wrap it around like, well, I wanted to use, I'm not sure how to do this. Uh. He's such a good boy he just uh i don't want to make it tight it stretches so oh there you go okay that's not what i meant to do it stretches so you don't want to put it on tight because it would be too constricting i just want to see if i i don't know if this is going to work just want to see if i can make it um hold that gauze a little bit better, but I, I don't want to make it tight around his neck, of course. It's very light. A very light. There. That's good. Well, of course, that's not going to stay. It's supposed to adhere to itself, and it does a bit. So Maybe that'll hold it a little bit better. It keeps... The gauze keeps falling out, and it's getting this uh, ear wrap really gross, and um, we don't have another one, and if we wash it, then it, we have to wait for it to dry. So that's how it's going to go. This is nice and loose, and then we're going to put the bat wrap back, like so. He's, so he's such a good dog. I mean... Mm -hmm. <laughs> This dog was a stray, and we don't know what kind of life he had, but he sure is easy to do things with. He is just so easygoing and sweet. How's that, boo, huh? And there he is, good. Would you like a treat? Yeah. So he's on... Four different kinds of medications, a couple are, I'm not sure exactly, a couple are antibiotics, a couple are sedatives and painkillers. So he's already had his dose for morning in his food, and then we'll be feeding him in a little while and putting his next dose in there. So that's how he's doing. He's doing great so far. Look at the dog. Good boy. Yeah, he keeps shaking his head, I think, because it's itchy. And his ear is hanging out on this side. I don't know if that's uncomfortable for him or not. But I'm smoothing it out a little. There we go. There we go, boo. But we have to try to keep it up as far as we can. But it does continue to... It, it still... It still wants to... Move around. Move back. I, I just, it's, it's so hard. See, I... It doesn't want to stay up here. That's where it needs to be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have to move around so much. Let's see. More under his chin might make it better. Okay. 
I just check that it's not too tight anywhere. I always worry about that. There. I, I don't really know how tight it should be. I mean, I just, I know that I would not want something tight around my neck. I can't even stand to have a turtleneck around my neck. So I don't want him to be uncomfortable yet. I want it to be tight enough that it holds it in place. So we're experimenting with this the whole time we're doing it. So anyway, that's all for now.